Hello Masters, today I wanted to talk about Playwright and four features that I really like, okay? I want to give you a pretty quick overview of what it, are those. The first one is going to be the information annotation. The second one, how you can download browsers so easily using the Visual Studio Code extension or the command line interface. The third one is basically how you can debug a test script. Okay, and the last one, how you can use the soft assertions to make multiple assertions to your test and how it can how it can help you in your test execution time. Masters, I also wanted to tell you that I'm creating a Udemy course for Playwright and TypeScript. So if you're interested in getting this new course as soon as it is released, just fill the survey that you're gonna find in the description of this video or also in the first comment in the fixed first comment that you're gonna find in this video. So I just wanted to tell you that. Just give me your email and I'll be contacting you back only for this particular play where I playwright chorus if you're interested in right i just wanted to give you that quick announcement let's continue with the with the video i'll be using this to do's application here you can add new to do's for example this is a new to do when i press enter this is going to be published in the ui and i can update the to do uh, as completed or i can delete that's basically how this application works okay now in my test the example that i want to give you in the first time uh, here with the info annotation is that i'll be creating a new to do as uh, just as i did uh, manually in the ui right i'll be filling the information with this command that fill and the name of the to do is going to be good stuff number one have that in mind okay then i'll be pressing enter just to publish the to do in the to do list okay and then i I'm, i'll be using an assertion to expect that the label right that i, I that i have here as soon as i publish i need to do this one has the text right good stuff number two as you can see and as it is obvious we're gonna have an assertion failure because we publish the good stuff number one and then we're having good stuff number two that's correct right and that's the goal that i wanted to achieve <laughs> i'm gonna be running this example and i just want to give you a, an, a, the perspective of, uh, of what happened when there is something failing okay all right so here we have a, a report automatically generated by playwright this is beautiful as well but as you can see here inside um here we have the details of the error of course uh, the the final result is a failure because um, i was expecting to have good stuff number two but i got number one and of course this is a failure but now let's imagine that you are uh, running an execution or i'm sorry I'm, that you're running a test regression right and you you have a lot of issues sometimes because maybe there could be some broken uh, features that you're uh, waiting to to get fixed by the dev team right so let's imagine that this particular issue is one of them okay this is where i think the um, information annotation could come to play and let me give you this example this is the piece of code that you need to add a new um, information annotation test that info as a function annotations that push and in the object here you can define the type and the description of this annotation okay so you can define for example that this is an issue right and in the description of course that you can add you can add a lot of details <laughs> as many as you want but you can define where you have already reported this bug right so when you check the, re the the report in the future you already know that this is something that was already reported and you don't have to well overthink about it you just have to wait until the bug is solved so if i run this again you're gonna see that in the final report um we're gonna have a new annotation telling us this particular detail and as you can see, well, here we have the annotation in our test telling us that this is an issue and it was already reported in this particular uh, demo URL, right? <laughs> so I think that the info annotation is beautiful and I think that you may want it to know about it as well. Let me know your thoughts and if you find this useful as well. Okay, masters, I wanted to give you the explanation of how you can install the browsers that you need to work with Playwright. It's so easy. 
okay let me give you a couple of options you can use the command line interface directly with a command but also you have the extension in the visual studio uh, marketplace here in the extension right extension marketplace and you just have to look for play right test for vs code okay so you just have to install this particular extension and you can access now a new command in the visual studio code um, wall terminal how you can access it it is just Control shift b right and here you can uh, type play right and you can see now that i have like five options here uh, with different functionalities okay one of them is uh, install playwright we have already installed playwright in this channel if you want to see how we can do it uh, well just look for young media install playwright and you're gonna have it <laughs> in my case i just wanted to give you an example of this other option which is install playwright browsers and just selecting that option you're gonna see that i can download the chromium the firefox and the webkit browsers and you just have to hit on ok and it is going to execute this particular command which is mpx playwright install and then you just have to mention the different browsers that you want to get installed in your operating system and that's it guys i i, um, I just wanted to give you that particular um approach because um well sometimes you you just need to install the browsers in your computer because you can have it and this is an excellent option all right masters i wanted to give you a couple of options that you may have to uh, debug your tests uh, there could be more of them you can go ahead and check the official documentation but i wanted to show you the the options that i really like okay the first one it, it is using the visual studio code program right the ide and also using the extension that we just installed before the visual studio uh, the playwright for test if that that was the extension right let me see uh, this one playwright test for bs code that's it and using this extension you can place a breakpoint in your code where you want to debug it okay so let's imagine that i want to debug my test in the line number 42 okay so uh, when you install this particular extension you're going to notice that in the, in the left panel here you're going to have a new button which is testing and in the testing part you can see that it contains basically all the tests that you have in your playwright framework okay and let's imagine that i want to well debug this particular first video that the spec ds which is the uh, test file where i have my my describe my tests and as you can see right now i just i have only the execution uh, pointing to the number three debug options test okay so i can press this particular button debug test and you're gonna notice that um well it starts the debugging process over here okay here we have a browser right and also here in the top of my visual studio code I have some options i can uh, continue i can step over i can step into and so on right so it's beautiful so as you can see in the browser over here when i press step over for example now it should uh, have the good stuff number one feel in the ui there it is and if i want to press the enter i just have to click again on the step over instruction and it is there right so you can debug every single step of your test pretty easily using this option okay so this is just an option that i wanted to give you but also you can use another workaround and it is beautiful as well okay here we have the hint we can use the command mpx playwright test which is the standard command to run our test and well in my case i am specifying the name of the test which is first video that is .ts, and i'm just uh, sending the flag headed because i want to see the execution uh, in with the ui right <laughs> then I'm, I'm placing the tag debug this is very important and the most important part of the debug option test and I only want to execute this in Firefox because I don't want to debug every single browser for this demo. Okay, so I can run this and you're going to notice that, let me see, I'm going to open my terminal and I can run this command. Okay, I'm sorry, this is not the command. Let me see, mpx, copy, and paste. Okay, and he's going to open a kind of inspector. Okay, this one over here. Okay, this playwright inspector 
is a helpful to debug as well because you can see that I have like the browser over here and also the playwright inspector in the left. So I can, uh, well, do the same stuff. A step over, it is gonna open the website over here, right? And since this has only in the number three test, I can start taking a look on the different steps and it is working as well, perfectly fine. This inspector could be a kind of a workaround, right? For the Cypress um, test runner that is beautiful and I'm used to, to, to use it. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is another option that you may have. And I just give you, I just wanted to give you the, the option. Okay, so let's continue with the video. Okay, masters, now it's time to uh, give you an example of how the soft assertions work, okay? Um, it's gonna be pretty easy, okay? I have a, a pretty similar example than the one that we saw at the very first part, and I'll be entering a new to-do with the name good stuff number one. And then I'll be having an, a failure, uh, an assertion error, because the good stuff number three text doesn't match with the information that I enter, right? That's correct. But then I also wanted to continue the test, adding a second to-do, right? That's amazing. And the second to do is going to have this name, good stuff number two. I'm gonna, well, press enter. And then I wanna have a final assertion to make sure that the, well, the labels have good stuff number one and good stuff number two. That's beautiful. Now, um, I'm gonna run this particular test, okay? And you're gonna see what is happening here because you may think that it is gonna run the full test, right? However, you're gonna notice that um, since this assertion is going to fail, the rest of the test is not going to be executed. And I can prove you that. You can see here the report and the test execution is stopped as soon as the assertion um, failed over here, right? And you can see in the report that it is not failing at all, or it is not executing the rest of the code that I wanted to test as well. Okay, so how you can solve that? Uh, well, it's pretty easy. In the assertions that you're gonna use, you have to use expect that soft. And using soft assertions, you're gonna be capable to, uh, even when an assertion failure happen, the rest of your test is gonna work as well. Okay, so I can prove you that. I'm gonna uh, end the test report execution and I can run this again. And in the final report, of course, as you can see, that um, well, the assertion um, are are working. <laughs> Assertions are working, and the rest of the test is working as well. You can see that here we have the error, but now here we have the rest of our test, and the final assertion is working as well because it is matching the, the as 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 I expected to to work. So uh, I think that soft assertions could be pretty useful if you are doing something you want to make more than one assertion. There, there are a lot of people saying that maybe have multiple assertions in one test is not the best option, but there could be cases and I just want to give you the options, right? So it is just up to you. And if in, if you think it is, um, well, a good option to use uh, multiple assertions in one test, there you have the option, right? So guys, um, I think that that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video until the end. I hope that you like it. Let me know in the comment section what do you what 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 is the feature that you uh, that you're going to apply in your project as well. Let me know it. I'll be pretty happy to hear it. Bye bye.